Whoa, whoa, whoa. Doc, can you explain that in English, please? <laughs> um, so imagine that all of space and time, space time is like this sheet of paper. I want to get from point A to point B, but that distance is too vast to travel in one human lifetime. So instead, what the engine does is bend or fold both space and time and then traverse it in a shorter amount of time than should be possible. Now entering the facility. Beloved staff, members of the general public who somehow wandered in here and got past all my laser bees, I should look into that. A few episodes ago, I issued you a challenge. I was sick of the old pencil through paper sci-fi wormhole demonstration routine, and I wanted to pay you cash money to come up with a better demonstration that was simple, most importantly accurate, and was under 60 seconds. And at the time I'm filming this episode, oh boy, oh boy, did you deliver. Over 420 nice different video submissions. It's kind of overwhelming and incredible. Many of you wanted to demonstrate wormholes with balloons. Still others with the humble slinky. Still others with parts of your own body or maybe a wristwatch. Both Lily and Nathan Aldrich here both gave me like 10 different videos as they came up with new ideas. Dr. Gibberish here, listen to this man. To explain how wormholes work, we need to escalate things. Yeah, he almost died giving me his submission with that energy level. And Zeb, well, Zeb gave me whatever this is. Peace token. It's not like we do that that way. So have a nice day. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. But today, out of the hundreds of you that submitted to me, I have narrowed it down to my top three. At the end of this video, I will show you three new wormhole demonstrations that I think are simple, accurate, and should replace the old pencil through paper trick whenever you see it in sci-fi media. And I will award these wonderful participants the combined value of 50 Benji boards. And the really fun part is, is that these winners don't know they've even won yet. They have to watch it right now with me and you and they find out in real time. So it's all gonna be very exciting. Let's begin. In third place, we have Cameron. And Cameron decided to explain wormholes in a way that's very, let's say, near and dear to my hair. Hello, my name is Cameron and imagine this hair tie is the universe. All of space-time, not inside, but around the border of this hair tie. A wormhole is when two very distant points in space-time collide in a singular point, making travel between the two instantaneous. A machine to do that would need to have the power to shape and bend space-time like I can shape and bend this hair tie. Oh. What, you have to give it some love. Congratulations, Cameron, me and my physicist judges loved your demonstration. It was simple, it used something that everyone, especially me, is familiar with. And best of all, I can easily imagine some narrative situation in a sci-fi TV show or movie where maybe the uptight scientist needs to explain a wormhole to whoever they are talking to and then they take out their hair and they fling it all around. And of course, you know, I would love that. Cameron, you are now the proud owner of the equivalent cash and money of a third of an ounce of gold. Enjoy it. Now, moving right along. Oh, right. Speaking of loving your hair to the best of your ability, initiate advertisement. This video has been sponsored by Keeps. Fellas, are you worried about losing your hair? Want to treat your male pattern baldness online and in the safety of your own facility with consultations via real doctors? Then you just gotta try Keeps. Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable than ever for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. Hey there gamers, I'm award-winning science communicator and now the official spokesman for Keeps Kyle Hill. You know what I'm thinking about when I'm not sciencing? The best way to hang on to my luscious genetically engineered locks. Guys, if you're under the age of 35, two thirds of you, that's 66.6% .6 repeating, will experience some form of male pattern baldness unacceptable in the age of science. You gotta try keeps.
Get FDA approved medications delivered right to your door. Talk 24 seven with your very own doctor, medical consultant person and experience more five star rating service than any other hair care competitor of the same kind of service this is. It made sense. Hey, I'm gonna tell you a secret. You gotta try keeps. Oh, there's a lot of cat hair in that one. If you are ready to treat your hair like it deserves to be treated, if you are ready to find out what thousands and thousands of men all across the world already know, go to keeps.com slash Kyle Hill for 50% off. Oh, that's half your first order. That's keeps.com slash my name. You gotta keep it. You're gonna add music, right? Well, moving right along in the $5,000 wormhole challenge. In second place, we have a man who calls himself Fleep the Filthy Casual, and he decides to demonstrate how a wormhole works to you uh, thusly. So I haven't seen this specifically in mainstream media, so if this has been done before, I apologize, but I used a water bottle and a marker, and I just marked point A and point B, and notice you can see point A from point B if you use a clear water bottle, and vice versa. So when you have a wormhole and you're distorting space-time, There you go. Wormhole challenge. You filthy casual, we loved your submission because it was one of the easiest, simplest to understand. It used a household object and it was one of the most clever deformations of an object that we had seen. You will soon be receiving enough money to get yourself out of the jail here because the guards you can- It's like Skyrim. It's like Skyrim. Now, while you took second place, you were close to the top spot, but while the demo is very intuitive and it feels good and it shows you two points coming closer together, it's technically not the most accurate because my judges evaluated it is more like a constant deformation of space-time bringing two points closer together rather than a topological change to space itself. So it wasn't the most accurate, but it did impress us. But what impressed us the most in first place for the wormhole challenge, we gotta give it to Eugenio Soto. Mucho ruido adentro? No realmente, solo he estado un momento para apreciarlas. ¿Crees que un día lleguemos a alguna? Creo que sí, pero solo haciendo un agujero de gusano. ¿Y cómo funcionaría? Imaginemos que este extremo es la Tierra y este otro es la estrella. Y esta es una nave. Entonces, claramente, de un extremo a otro habría una larga distancia. Pero lo que haría un agujero de gusano es unir estos dos puntos. Entonces, a la nave le tomaría mucho menos tiempo llegar al otro lado. Oh, qué cool. Congratulations, Eugenio. We love your submission. It earned the number one spot by not only looking like it was in some kind of movie, but for being the most accurate demonstration that we got. In your very artistic representation, it showed the most basic topological change to space-time you could really think of, a line segment going to a circle. This was about as close as anyone got in the submission. So now, Eugenio, I am sending you 250,000 pennies. That's right, they will be arriving as pennies. Hollywood, if you are watching, I have now presented you with three alternative and very viable demonstrations to the pencil through paper wormhole demonstration. They are simple, they are mostly accurate, and they will give your audiences something to think about that is always good. Congratulations to all the top prize winners. Thank you to everyone who submitted, and guess what? I even got my own prize today, making thousands and thousands of you think about wormholes for an extended period of time. Until next time. Now exiting the facility.
Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. Today, especially, I want to recognize research assistant Ace Halley, private eye, and visiting scholar Ben Snow, who may or may not know nothing. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, if you want to talk with me every day in our private Discord, if you want to see behind the scenes photos, especially of Chernobyl, if you want private members only live streams of yours truly, not like that. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on Aria here in every single video. Look at that. And there's hundreds and hundreds of you. There's way more than you submitted for this challenge, so I don't have any idea. To be fair, Cameron, I know you came in third place, but I also, off the top of my head, I thought if I was going to enter my own challenge, I too thought of using a hair tie as the wormhole, but instead of bending it and you'd have to glue or, or connect these pieces, I thought about twisting it and showing a connection point. Still not accurate, but something that could be done fun. So I'm there with you, Cameron. And if you enjoyed all of this while I was talking with my physicist judges, they recommended actually talking with me and trying to come up with the best, most accurate way possible to show a wormhole demonstration to Hollywood. Not only are they quantum physicists, they also work for Hollywood. If you want to see that discussion happen, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Ooh, hey, look at us.